The Green Bath by Margaret Mahay, illustrated by Stephen Kellogg. Sammy! Look at yourself, cried his mother. You're covered with dust and dead spiders. But I was sneaking up on pirates, cried Sammy. How can I have adventures and stay clean? Just forget about adventures for the moment, said his mother. Your grandma's coming, so stay clean for once. Next door, Mr. Trottingham had just come home from the flea market. A speedboat shone sleek and scarlet on the trailer. Five minutes later, Sammy's father came home. He had something on his trailer, too. Ha, 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 ha. Have a happy bath, Terry Trottingham shouted through the hole in the hedge. We're going to whiz over the waves in our wonderful speedboat. Sammy watched as his father connected the bath to the pipes and stepped hard on one claw foot. Toot toot, honked the Trottingham horn as they set off for the seashore. But just at that moment, Sammy heard the bath give a gurgle as if it were laughing. Yuck, 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 yuck. <laughs> he thought he saw it scratching itself with one of its strange claw feet. He blinked and looked again. No, the bath was standing as still as baths usually stand. Now get into that bath and wash yourself, his mother was saying. Sammy tried to make his first soaking as adventurous as possible. Putting on his swimming suit, his snorkel, and water wings, he poured a few drops of foaming soap into the water, then lay back among the bubbles, singing a little song. The owl and the pussycat sped to sea in a beautiful pea green bath. Leaping the lawn, hopping over the hedge, and prancing along the path. The bath jiggled. Sammy pretended not to notice. He kept on singing. The bath jumped. Sammy sang even more loudly. The bathroom window was wide open. Sammy could hear in the far, far distance the Trottinghams carrying on at the shore. He sang on. Then, all in a minute, the bath was off and away. It bounded through the back door, leaped across the lawn, hopped over the hedge, and made for the wide, wide ocean. People gasped. Then they cheered and waved their towels. Splash! A warm summer wave swept up and over the Trottingham twins as the green bath dived into the green sea. Splash again! Off went the bath. Mermaids lifted heads of seaweed hair. Boy in a bath, boy in a bath, they sweetly sang. A sea serpent appeared. Race you, it roared. Three times around Treasure Island. Soon the island was right in front of them. On the beach, a whole boatload of buccaneers was hard at work digging for treasure. A bath like that is a real treasure, muttered the captain. Buccaneers need baths even more than boys do. Board it quickly. Prepare to wash. I'm on your side, hissed the sea serpent to Sammy. Then began a wonderful bath and buccaneer battle. The buccaneers had swords, but Sammy bewildered them with bubbles and baffled them with soap suds. At last, every single buccaneer was bobbing in the waves, beaten, bubbling, and blustering. Then the bath turned back towards the beach once more. Come back soon, Sammy, shouted the sea serpent. The bath enjoyed the wildest water. It bobbed, it bounded. It whisked up the waves that rocked and rolled every other boat in the bay. Reaching the beach safely, the bath scampered back the way it came. It settled itself into the bathroom once more. Just as Sammy's mother walked in without knocking, the way mothers sometimes do. My goodness, she said, what's gone on in here? Sammy scrambled out of the bath and gave his mother the sort of smacking kiss a pirate in a good mood might give. Then, wrapping himself in a towel, he began to arrange the treasure in the window ledge. As the water gurgled down the drain, it certainly sounded as if that bath were laughing loud and clear. 
Ho, ho, ha, ha, he, he, ha, ha, yuck, 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 